All right. A lot of combo. Uh, is there anything we're not getting? I think we've sided in every card at least once. I guess I'm just running it back. I don't think there's anything I want to change. Maybe we'll get there this time. Wow, Moto's really laggy. I might have to restart the program. Yeah, alright, that's just not... not acceptably... 61 cards pog, yeah. If you want to see an explanation for why I play 61 cards, you can exclamation point 61 in the chat. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I love that MTG Pods just has that. That's great. Anu Goof, what chat do you think this is? Oops, wrong stream. <laughs> there's, there's actually, there's a, uh, a dearth of copy pastas in my, my channel. I don't know why that is. I don't, I don't radiate meme energy like Anurag does, though. <laughs> Zero chalice decks so far. Zero chalice, only one control deck. I guess it kind of makes sense why we're not doing super hot. It's like literally combo. We played against Delro once and we lost, which feels bad. But like a lot of a lot of things broke against the odds. Maybe could have played a little better, maybe. Forko Lum. That's like that's like the least chalicey chalice deck though. Alright. Uh this person either plays goblins or burn. Yeah, we got StarCraft background music. Two burn. I've already played against burn once. I think we're past the, the Terran music. We're we're in the Zerg Zerg zone. Terran theme's a bop. How's every legacy streamer always know what their puns on? Uh, there's not that many people who play, and All right, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I'm on the draw. I'm on the draw. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you see the same thing over and over again. I don't think I actually would have done anything if I was if I thought I was on the play. All right, it's burning. Fetch lands. I'm just gonna lightning bolt myself. Like, fetch lands feel so bad against burn. You're just like, ah, oh, yes, I will. All right, that was a good draw. But lightning bolting yourself with your own lands is like very real, very, very real in this matchup. 
Oh, what the hell? Okay, Overmind's around. Uh-oh. Jump on the generator one time? Mm. Uh, do I take the damage to play this? This is tough. I guess if I don't expert this, then I'm taking damage from it in combat anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and like Bolt would be a big punish. Imagine they just fire blast, like their hand just like lands and they just like fire blast my lackey. <laughs> Do you block for the attack? Uh. <laughs> uh just with the expert, probably. Double blocking just gets blown out for no reason, right? But I would like to stop taking damage. for Matron. Try to get this Muxus into play with a Skirk. If I do something else, I can Matron for Jump Home. I also just might want to Matron for Slaying next turn. They're afraid of um, either War Marshal or some efficient block. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to go for Muxus. If I get Sling Gang, it's just like, just gets Rift Bolted and it's like, okay, but like not that good. Just pray that the box is flip slinking. Slinking one time.
Holy cannoli. Okay. All right. And we draw. We holy shit. <laughs> I I have nothing to say. Better lucky than good. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Gem palm SMH. <laughs> Official slot, thanks for the follow. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Put out a sense of humor, I respect that. Yeah, two. Uh. Subs can spam your Muxus emote for that shit. <laughs> Is a silly magic card. I'm out of water. Oh boy. Some luscious hair. Yeah. I haven't gotten a haircut since last April. So now it is fully out of control. It's fairly ridiculous. I got pretty lucky to get game one there. Game one on the dragon's burn is dicey as fuck. We drew the vial. Or with the... <laughs> alright, alright. Got him all get this one, unfortunately. I'll keep some sus vial hands, but, uh... <laughs> oh, it's like the opposite. Um... Pretty happy with my mulliganing there. We've multiplied five both games, but I think these fives have been better than the sevens or the sixes. God. So as usual, the card that I am fucking terrified of is Smash to Smithereens. So much so that I'm actually going to fetch Badlands against a price deck because I need to be able to cast Expert. They have fetch lands. That's terrifying because that means Stream Blaze. Guide has betrayed us. All right, I think we're just gonna get turn three here. That was weird. Him not attacking, sorry, them not attacking with the guide is really good for me because I do have. Well, they know about the crater maker. Yeah, yeah. 
Capolo, thank you for the raid. Welcome, folks. Pyrokinesis. Uh, all right, so I can't gain life. I take four, down to six, down to four. What's the fastest I can kill? This matron gets... But if I'm chumping with Lackey... I don't know if I realistically can win. Like, if I block the Swift Spear and I go to 8 and then I go to 6, then I'm like, Pyrokinesis the two things, Pitch, Expert. Uh, Goblins has been... We've had a lot of rough matchups. So it's been like, we're like, what, 4 and 6 tonight? Which is... Eh. Not great. Thoroughly medium, I'll say. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> All right. So if I don't block, take six, or take take four down to six, then four in my upkeep. Attack with Lackey. Arcanistus their stuff. Put in Matron. Get. Uh. I guess Muxus. Then I go to two. Put in the Muxus and then I die in my keep unless I can drain them out with slinging. So maybe I have to get like War Chief? Try to kill them all in one go. Alright. I don't think there's a winning line to race. I also just, I mean, if they have a fire blast, probably I'll just die in my upkeep. But if they have a fire blast, then I literally just die one turn later. And Lackey definitely lets me turn, like, win a turn later than I otherwise would. Fire blast me, do it. I mean, I'm dead, just like fucking anything. Yeah, burn is not something I want to play against. I think it's like a coin flip. I think it's very 50 50. It used to be unwinnable, like before slinking, it's unwinnable. Slank Gang is probably just my best out. Alright, so I'm just gonna go for Muxus and then hope the Muxus flips Slank Gang and I can somehow kill them in their upkeep. But dead to almost anything here. I can beat a creature. On the play, I think we've got a good chance. Holy shit. Everos with the fat raid. Spiderface, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, we're playing goblins here in Legacy. That's how things go around here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we've also mulliganed to five every one of these games. <laughs> Oh, 
Arcantus Awaken? Love the username, thanks for the follow. Uh, I saw the whatever lands, so I'm actually gonna keep the wasteland. Is that stupid? Uh, I, I need... <laughs> Mark Chalice, thanks for the follow. Alright, so obviously we've mulliganed to five three games in a row. That feels pretty bad. Uh huh. And I'm not like m heavily mulliganing on purpose. Hippity Long Ears likes to follow. Jeez. Popping off. I'm not gonna kill this yet. I need to get more value since I'm on a five. I need, I need to at least get a two for two with this pyrokinesis if I can help it. Mm, wastelands. Nice. This lackey is a red card right now. Yeah, the lands, there's some visual bug with my moto installation where duels look like monocolored. Uh, Alright, I don't think you have another creature and that's why you're doing this. I maybe should have wasteland the fetch, actually. Nah, that's fine. It's some visual bug, yeah. No, it's just it's just visual. They still function. They just look wrong. Okay. We're just going for Sling Gang. No price, please. Or do I wait a turn? I think I go for it. If the Sling Gang eats a bolt. Yeah, if I get priced, it's like. choice I have. Yeah, we, we I do recall working with the World Gorger crew to build World Gorger Goblins. It was not very good. <laughs> I can say that much. Second mom not worth it? I don't think so. Maybe going to 16 is good. I don't know. Three one ones is a lot better than two. Oh. Yikes. Jump on? Oath of Ghouls was the hottest. As good as it got. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I don't... <laughs> my my expectations for this game are quite low, given that we mold, mold to five twice. Three times. Three times. Three mills to five. Mm, I, don't, I don't think... I don't know. Okay. We're at three. I guess if we gain one more life... But then, no, no, no. If we had one less goblin on board, then this just gets to attack. We might hard cast that. Dead to anything. I need you to draw a second idol on. Go to one. Or... All right. All right, matron. Time is now. Powerful wizardry. If we draw... It has to be a red producing land to hardcast the pirate pieces. Or a red card. That Eidolon has halved their life total. Let's draw Pashlikmons. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Disgusting. I die to Fire Blast if I cast Pashlik. Uh, it's six. One, two, three, four. Wait, uh, I could draw a bolt. What if I just play Ringleader? This jump home's better. Four. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me actually think this through. So, sack a goblin to matron. Or sa sack. Oh, I do I have trash master? I do not. Um, sack matron, go to three, cast Pashley, go to one. If he fire blasts me, then I have to sack. Yeah, I can't, I can't. Yeah, so ringleader, and then hit any, any red card. Oh, I'm in my draw set. Um, 
Price progress kills me no matter what. Punt's very kind. Oh my god, I did not. I, I drew I drew running matrons with a pile on three. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not think I was getting out of that. Oh man. <laughs> we had one, yes. What about second matron? Oh my god. I need some water. After that burn, crazy amount of burn. Oh my god. I'll be right back, friends. Uh, o King's Wild, thanks for the follow. Exclamation point Patreon if you want to see my exclusive content, by the way, if you're interested in goblins overall and more. Got Cyborg Guide. Big old Cyborg Guide. 52 page Cyborg Guide. So, if you're into that. Check that out, exclamation my Patreon. I'm gonna go back and get some water and use the bathroom, so don't go anywhere. All right, I'm gonna cut the music for now because it's just uh, just almost midnight, and I kind of need the the quiet to focus. Streaming's distracting enough as it is. Oh my god, that was an insane fucking match. I th I think that match does kind of show the importance of mulliganing. I think against I think Goblin's pretty good right now, even though record today hasn't been good, but Prior leagues were uh, off stream over the past like week. I haven't been playing very much. Uh, it's like a lot of four ones, and then I had a three two the other in, a couple days ago. That was like very close to a five zero. Like both losses were very narrow, you know. Um, I think Goblins is one of the best decks um, against Lura Delver, which is. Uh, Probably the like widely considered the best deck in Legacy right now. Um, the loss that was earlier in the stream against Blue Delver that was like the first that was the first time I lost against Delver in weeks and weeks. Um, I think it's pretty encouraging. I mean, I was a Lexac that game, but that's the thing. It's like you kind of have to make your own luck. All right, this hand's pretty bad. Alright, this hand's acceptable. Ditch the Badlands. 
Let's Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm in danger. Am I going to play against Reanimator for the fourth time in the fourth league? That'd be kind of silly. I have been mulliganing a lot. Like, significantly above average. Yeah, I played against Reanimator or something very close to Reanimator. Like the three yeah, the, the League I three two'd I lost to that deck. It's like what it's called. It's got some stupid name, but it's like the Leyline Helm deck that also plays depths, that also plays tendrils. Okay, is this Ant? Shuffle, okay. Death, yes, thank you. Yeah, put against that. And game two, they go turn zero, ley line, turn one, dark crit, dark crit, LED, Infernal Tutor, Helm, Helm you. It was very stupid. So this is Doomsday or Ant or some blue control deck. So like stuff like that has been knocking me out lately, which is kind of obnoxious. I know it's like kind of a meme to say your deck has a good Delver matchup, but I think I do have the results to prove it. I'm a little sad we lost the, the one Delver match we played on stream today, but Happening Wizard thinks of the follow. I'm not saying it's a 100% matchup, obviously, but I think it's quite good. Like, I, I beat Delver when I, like, massively punted. Like... And it's pretty good against Delver overall, I think. All right, top-bottom pass. Interesting. DCM Dame, thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate all the new followers. That was a really good draw. All right, so we can just put them on a two-turn clock here. This makes ad nauseum a lot worse. And, like, theoretically, if it's Doomsday, this means they can't double Street Wraith after Doomsday. This isn't the same Doomsday player as earlier, right? Let me check the thing. No. Pig Soviet damn it. What's that even mean? <laughs> Just because they're red? <laughs> yeah, the, the Lexac LEDs feel bad. Pedal. Oh, that's Ant. Uh-oh. I think we're dead. Triple LED. Okay, and the last card is Infernal Tutor. So they can just tutor. That's which Claw doesn't. Same, same, same thing. Three Black Lotuses. Pretty good. <laughs> I guess we don't know with absolute. It could be like a blue black. Here into the depth stick. I mean, this is. I mean, it's turn four. Like, not gonna be a, like mad about dying to ant on turn four. <laughs> All right.
of this matchup is everything and the kitchen sink. I know it looks weird to leave an expert over ringleader, but you sometimes want to pass with like pyre blast held up or like a relic activation and you're attacking with a pile driver and you want an instant speed creature. Shift click. Um, control click is you control, you can like click individual cards while holding control then control all of them at once. And then shift is like a whole group. A lot of hate. Sounds like almost entirely hate. The clock is a little slow, but it's still like Lackey makes all your top decks insane, aside from lands. And uh, three a turn is still a Delver's worth, right? Like this is about as fast a clock as a Delver and higher damage potential and... Yeah, you got it. Um, and like just as much interaction as your average... It's like a good Delver hand, right? Are you turn wanting me through Mind Break Trap? Fucking dare you. <laughs> Other cantripping to get under the blast? Okay, makes sense. Shuffle. Someone's getting wastelanded. That's a fairly sad draw. Uh, Hunter shuffled. I think I take this chance to play the relic. I might not have another one. Feels kind of bad though. Yeah, Leilai. <laughs> not what you're looking for. Best right here, Mux is Sling Ganger Trash Master. Matron, obviously, good. Land, land is actually fine, so we can go, we can hold up Relic Plus Blast. Might be a little awkward for them that they want to brainstorm, but like, brainstorming off your own one land is kind of yikes. Already spent one pedal. And they might be scared of a wasteland, so they might feel pressure to get island, but if they have they might not have a starting black source for the rituals if they get island. So they're in a bit of a bind, most likely. Or they're just figuring out they can kill me. <laughs> that would be pretty insane. Turn two after thought seizing my trap and getting wastelanded would be top I'm not gonna I don't have a fake number, but probably like top two percent of ant draws. See what land they get here. All right, not playing scared. Really? <laughs> they're 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 actually gonna turn two me through my break trap. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> they shuffled off their ponder. Uh. Oh, so they get a couple of rituals. Wow, so... Huh. 
Huh. Wastelanding killed me. That is insane, Ant Hen, I will say. Like, extremely unreasonable. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. That's unreal. That's pretty fucking unreal. What a ridiculous hand. <laughs> what a ridiculous hand. I bet it's even smaller than 2%. Turn thought sees pedal. Spend your pedal cantripping and shuffle. Get wastelanded. Win. Kinda stupid. Whatever. So any blue deck can lose to that. Like, we presented a ton of interaction. Same odds is hitting Running Mage. All right, fair. Fair. I mean, if the, I guess the ley line need to be in our opener. They're pretty close to going for Adnaz too, though. I wonder if they drew the land. It's kind of weird that they spent the... Like, I wonder what piece they were missing that they hit off the Ponder Shuffle or their draw step. <laughs> shuffler giveth, Shuffler taketh, indeed. Wow, get, <laughs> get jumped on. All right. The draw here. All right. Um Seems a little bit risky against some decks, but I'm not in the business of mulliganing double vial. Of course, now we get Chalston 1. But if we get Chalston 1 and then we draw a land, like, we're actually totally fine. Uh, Marsh Flats is usually... Is this fucking Reanimator again? Maverick. Okay. Can deal with Maverick. This card is not very scary. Would be scary would be like abrupt decay. But I feel like that's about to happen. <laughs> okay. That was pretty good. Oh, they can't level up X Drinker.
Also, can't green sun for a collector roof, which would be very bad for me. Yeah, uh, basic mountain, best draw. Ah, uh, a second decay. Something library right have there. Okay. I right, really want that land. This is strange though. Triple Bayou. It's just like green black. Probably means a lot of playing engineers. I would not guess Shadow guess based on fetching all these bayous. Could be Nick Fit, that is true. Level up your X Drinker. Fuck off. Fuck right off. <sighs> land. Red land. Mountain. 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 Fucking mountain. <laughs> Good enough. Uh... I think I'm putting in Sling Gang so I can kill something big, like a Goif? Or like... A knight. One, two, three, four. Knight would be exactly killable. Pile driver. Yeah, slink slinking safer. Discard to something. Well, actually, I mean the pile driver would just fucking murder them. They could have a fatal push as well. I think push is actually the reason to... Oh no, they don't have fatal push. We know they don't have fatal push because they would have fatal push last turn. Yeah, main deck engineer could definitely absolutely happen. But if they do that, then at least they take five. This is looking like the rock. I'm, I don't think it's Maverick. Him. Okay, that's pretty beatable, actually. Uh, into seven. I'm debating whether or not it's used to. It's better to use the expert to kill the Liliana or swing at their face. Play pile. I think I think I want to kill Lily with the board, then play pile driver. Like, Expert does clock them, but so does this, right? And now I'm set up so that if they play, like, a big creature, then I still have the Expert. Let's see if they have another color. Quad Bayou. This is also better against like a him, which I suspect their deck is playing. There we go, that's the thing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. This, uh, stuff in library is not in modern. But yeah, everything else is. So opponent can gain 12, and then we just expert kill him. Like Blood Moon's gonna be pretty good. Oh, don't have him. Oh, that makes a lot of sense actually. Two, four, six, eight. Two, two, four, six. All right, so they have to block. Power driver. And this is not lethal. I'm one short, right? Five plus, yeah. This matchup could be hard. Okay. Multiple. Okay. Getting him one's probably a big, 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 big deal. I mean, Veil doesn't even save him there. All right, Bloodman's got to be good. Yeah, I think they just killed themselves. Um, relics. So the smog combo. With a lot of creatures. Oh. I think I should probably want all three pyrokinesis. And one relic. So all four bayous. I don't know, maybe Blood Moon's not actually that good. I think I want Goblin Density still. Uh, you can mind break it, yes. Uh, or can you? You might not be able to. Uh, copy this spell, Machu's New York. Uh, I guess you can't. I'm not really interested in bringing in mind break against that style of smog deck anyway, though. Uh, I'm actually gonna save Shave a Sling Gang here. I'm boarding in three Pyrokinesis. They're a very mid rangey deck. It's a 1 1. Be mindful of cards like Obstinate Payload. Holy shit. That's actually so big brain. It's like you shame a smog, target your opponent, and then they throw it back at you, and then you put an Obstinate Payload. Oh my god. It's genius. Uh. They mold a six. I'm kind of tempted to keep this, honestly. Like, even if they, even if I lose the vial, I can get a Muxus into play on turn three if I draw lands. And if I don't draw lands, like the hand's still fine. As long as the vial, like if I, if the vial doesn't stick and I lose, uh, and I don't draw lands, then it's bad. Uh-oh. I don't think we always keep one lander vials, Steve. 
I think it's very contextual. Against an opponent's deck with like it's like very Jundi, I like really don't want to mulligan. Maybe they take Muxus. If they have Decay, they might. <laughs> it is part of the contract, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing is, like, with this one lander, wow, they do take the Muxus. That's interesting. So they have Decay. Like, that's. You be Assassin's Trophy? <laughs> All right. Do I let them mind twist themselves? That's a problem. Hmm. I'm filled with regret. I mean, we can still create a maker it. I just would not want to. If I wanted to play around this, I'm supposed to play the War Marshal out. Okay. Okay. I suspect they take plague. I mean, a uh, creator maker because of plague. I guess the other half of their deck, jump palm, is the best card. Yeah. Yeah. Chain of Smogs of sorcery. Yep. The combo would be much better if it was an instant. Yeah. Something tells me if I didn't have this vial, I'd be fucking dead. I only have two cards. The best draw here is like a port. Okay, actually, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be dead if... <laughs> Thoughts he's bug. Because uh, I just want to play the Skirk on turn one. They took the vial. And then turn two. Hold up, expert. Or just play War Marshal. And then jump palm off of the Skirk. Uh, sure. Maybe I'm supposed to buy on the crater maker there. Maybe that's a stupid punt, but I don't. Yeah. All right, that, that was, I don't know why I did that smog. Okay, so it doesn't actually really matter. Okay, so they have nothing. All right, so I do wish I had a different creature in play. Hmm. I 
Uh, I sacked there to keep this from being summoning sick. Arcanto's Awaken. Because if if you if uh the skirk just die if the Mog War Marshal token just dies like to echo then one 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 can't attack. Well, you need something. All right, gotta rip Plague or Liliana. Yeah, and that doesn't matter, right? Because it's, it's literally the difference on the clock. Uh, they could draw Ooze, which would die, but I would draw Port. Nice. All right. That was a game. <laughs> that was a deck. I suspect they had fewer outs if I just filed in the Crater Maker. <laughs> like I was supposed to. I was thinking, like... I don't know what their last card is. You should just never give your opponent the choice, right? Like, they will know which card is better. Mogwa Marshall, Jump Palm, or Crater Maker. So, like, why let them choose the best card? Because there's a chance that the Crater Maker is the best card, in which case you, you, will, you ought to have filed it in. I was thinking there was a chance that if they didn't take the Crater Maker and they took Jump Palm... I would hold the Crater Maker in my hand to play around removal later on. I don't think I realized that the game, one, wasn't going to last that much longer. And two, uh, I forget what two was. Moving on. Uh, nope. Okay. This hand's acceptable. Not sure what I'm putting back here. I think it's Chain Roller, but it's actually pretty close because Chain Roller could be really good. Sometimes the gender becomes the jundid. I think it is Whirler, but. I could definitely imagine a lot of punishes for it. And I'm actually okay redrawing that Whirler, so I'm going to fetch first. So play around Stifle this way. Stifle is moderately played in the current format. I haven't seen it yet tonight. Foothills. Yeah, all right. Well, kind of wish I had that chain roller. I could have put back a land. Could have put back a land. <laughs> What's the best double deck? Blue red. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I was in amazing shape if I had a chain roller instead of a bad lance here, but you know. Ooh, brainstorm locked. Amy Dream Missions Expert, Pog. Brainstorm locked. Go to discard, why don't you? Discard Sylvan Library, love to see it. I don't think they have a wasteland. If they have a wasteland, they have to wasteland cavern souls, so. Or wasteland port, rather. I'm a little surprised they didn't get dazed to protect their land, if I'm being honest. Alright, so it looks like Rug Delver, like ultimate dirtle Rug Delver. Main deck libraries actually tells you a lot. <laughs> Skirk on the distance, yeah. Bolt. Old Skirk. Respecting Skirk. Still gonna port. Playing Ringleader is tempting. Very tempting, but...
Darn the Goyf. Second cavern. Love to see it. They have days they should days here. Alright, Matron is good enough. <laughs> People complain about Delver deck does literally nothing. <laughs> so eight, seven. <laughs> That's actually exactly why I didn't play the second cavern. God, you're so dead. <laughs> Uh, matron for Matron. And next turn we Matron for Sling Gang and kill them. Third Bolt? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sling beat. Yeah, I, I was trying to play around more, more bolts. So it's seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, Rug, Delver with Goyf. Library. All right, so they're on Uro, so I like the Blasts. Pyrokinesis is pretty bad against this version. They have one Moxus, one Lackey, one Pile Driver, maybe two Pile. Oh, we got the War Chiefs first. This is fine. Um, I'm a little... I don't like Blood Moon on the draw, especially against this version, which often plays Force of Vigor in the sideboard. Which is like insane to me, because they have like 11 green cards, but... We're gonna Delver. Uh, this hand's exactly okay, I think. I think. Oh, that was a good draw. Delver doesn't flip. It's quite nice. If it does flip, I'll just blast it right here. Move to force. All right. All right. Happy that happened. I know Goyf is nice. Uh, I'm just going to port them here. See if I can pull a wasteland out of their hand. Play patterns notably different against blue red. Yes. Hey, nice. Um, against blue red, all of their stuff dies to the same things, more or less. Against rug, you have to be more considerate of. Well, it's interesting. Uh, you have to be more considerate of.
They didn't date. I know they have a force. They might get rid of the force. Huh. How big is Goyf? Instant land creature? Or... They didn't bolt end of turn. Did it stifle? I, I don't know. Bolt just does not make sense as the read here. All right. That's really confusing to me. Maybe they're just saving it for the fetch land. I think I do this. Yeah. So a lot of my cards don't do anything. Uh, like even if I draw a land. I know they have a dead force in their hand, so that's good. Ugh. And if we had to land, we'd be really pushing ahead. I'm assuming they have another reactive spell, but at least get it out of the way. Only 18 more turns, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we're going past like months here. Oh, we're not. Might be overcommitting into like a, a sweeper. But Stifle actually makes a lot of sense. Their hand must be kicked just like all counter magic. I'll counter magic and stifle. Ooh. Even Heather stifle. Come on. Come on. My whiff. All right. Those are all the lands we wanted, but we're shuffling again, so it's fine. Um, best way to get this game over with is... So how do we lose? Rough tumble? Let's get War Marshal. Because it survive, it'll keep a one one on rough tumble, and it's a shooting two clock through pyroclasm. Exactly, exactly, because this will survive. And the war marshal is just generally valuable with these two in our hand. 
All right, at least it's not a brainstorm. That that force of will is still stuck in their hand. Countering that brainstorm, really good. Shuffle, yeah. Nice. What a weird game. <laughs> like, what a weird fucking game. <laughs> Blasted the Delver, blasted the Brainstorm, three lackeys getting stifled and bolted, get stuck on lands. I mean, they had two wastelands, but... All right, all right. All right, let's see if we can get the 4-1 to close out the night. This is a breaking even stream now. Yeah, okay, so that's actually a major difference between Blue-Red and Rug Delver, is that against Blue-Red, unless it's a, like a straight-up life total race, where it's like they have flyers and you have pile drivers, you are almost always the control. Against Rug, rolls shift more often, because they have actual card advantage. And it's hard to attack. Um, like, Goyf is really good on attack on offense and defense. Um, so there's a lot of times where they need to drag the game out a little bit. To, like, get to Uro or find their, their wrath, whether it's Blazing Volley or Rough Tumble. Um, so I actually think that Rug is mid range enough, especially their version, right? They've made a sil Sylvan Libraries. They probably have like Clothis and other like Dirtle cards like that. So, a lot of the time they're just going to be Rug mid range. So, like, they should look for their beatdown hands, but there are some control hands of theirs with, where I'm. How do I explain this? Uh, in a lot of matchups, or against Delver, Goblins normally takes the role of control, but. The way Goblins takes control is through board presence. Um, and like going wide, not even necessarily attacking, but just having stuff on board to make your removal live. Um, so playing control against Goblins is good against Goblins control pan, plan, if that makes sense. Sometimes. I mean, it, dep it depends because you normally don't want to play control against Goblins. But if you have like the threat that really matters like a like a like a goif that's like too hard to kill or something um then you can start like throwing bolts at creatures and whittling the board down that way i hope that makes sense <laughs> Yeah, re yeah, resource denial. <clears throat> and that can mean creatures on board, because creatures on board is like the most important resource for goblins. Um, but yeah, uh, resource denial is like much more effective. Red green lands or black red green lands? Um, I thought it used to be favored and then Valka Exploration flipped it i play against this person earlier no on the draw i kept seven this hand's good in certain matchups but mostly not all right this hand's pretty great Don't love having to put back Pashlik, but yeah, I think I think V flipped it like really hard, which is pretty frustrating. <laughs> um, but pre V, I had an extremely high record versus lands. All right, are they gonna stifle me? Actually, I think I'm gonna cavern Lackey here because Basic Island does not deal with Lackey. 
And I have Gem Palm if they're gonna play like a Pyromancer. Stone Forge Mystic. Okay. All right, so we get the trade here. Let's draw Expert. We did not, but that's fine. All right, this is where I wish this was a crater maker. Yeah, these are just respectful basics. We only have two shatters main, so something to consider. I think overall we should be good in this matchup, though. Like, we have our cavern. The ca first cavern's really huge. Second stone forge. That's like kind of alarming. Oh, okay. Natural GTA. Um, so it's either Matron or Wasteland plus Vile. I want to get this Vile online. I think this is going to be my, my last chance to do it. All right, no true name. That's a big one. Second matron is excellent. I could get Skirk and try to go for a Muxus, but that's like really all in when I I got like all value. All right, we're just going to pass here. <laughs> what a maniac indeed. All right, there's your name. Uh, I kind of want to cycle away the gem palm because... Want I have the expert for the next cr actual creature. It is my last jump home. What am I looking for if I'm cycling? Mana denial? I guess mana denial. Yes, Jump Palm is an A. <laughs> All right, Jack. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill with the munitions experts. I guess we will never lose to Jace. <laughs> We found a target. Jump Humber's munitions, who wins? Okay, so they brainstorm back the batter skull. Okay. That's a ambitious attack. Yeah, Jump Palm Jump Palm's insane in the mirror and also against Moon Stompy. 
So it will always kill Rabble Master because it counts all goblins. Uh, and also, like, Expert isn't always better against Delver because it's harder to cast. Uh, Gem Palm, also not going on the stack really matters against uh, Delver sometimes because they can't, like, counter, like, use a Daze or Force to trigger either Pyromancer or Sprite Dragon. Uh, what am I getting here? If I had a War Chief in hand already, I could see doing that. I mean, a Pile Driver. If I had a Pile Driver, they'd just die. Um, let's get second ringleader. Vince Trumps, thanks for the follow. Mm, that's a sus name, though. Aha, we found the end game. This ringleader might end up being bad, but. Gotta be your Viking, fix the follow. That's a juicy ringleader, actually. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. You have stifle? <laughs> All right. Lackey, lackey, the creator. All right, well, we have nine cards in hand. And unless they have Swords of Plowshares, they're very dead. Actually, they're dead. Dead. Very dead. Kind of. <laughs> Regardless. Don't even lose to a sword equip. Okay. Bitter skull. Opponent, I've got bad news. Okay. Right, trash man, blast, needle. I think one pyrokinesis is okay. Uh, they tend to have containment priests pretty often in their sideboard. And quite like having easy answers to, to that. But didn't even know they were dead on board yet. <laughs> uh, they knew. Uh, they knew about the second crater maker because it came off the ringleader. Now we are going to be a little removal flooded, so I'm going to shave a gem palm. Uh, all of our cards are good. We know they're blue, white, red. So. That means probably not back to basics, um, but maybe. It means probably lightning bolts, so I kind of want to shave on, I don't know, Warchief's pretty fucking good against Stoneblade. We saw Wasteland. There could be Blue or Delver. 
Yeah, I, I, I love the three drivers. It's just, it's just really, really good to have a cheap proactive threat that actually kills people. So you're not reliant on your cheating mechanisms. It's just like, here's a pile driver and some one ones. Like, that's seven, you know, return clock. So the whole game can happen kind of tangential to, like this is this is kind of like Goblins' is Delver. Uh, yeah, he very kills people. Muxus, you often want Muxus to flip a second card that deals a lot of damage, whether that's Sling Gang or Pile Driver, um, because Muxus itself can get blocked easily. The Elko can't elk it. Also, it gets through like Strix and Quaddle, which is nice. Uh, I don't know what my last cut's supposed to be. Lackey's pretty poor against Stoneblade on the draw. We can just play a bigger game. The Pyrokinesis might be too much. Uh, it has a lot of good draws, but it's also like kind of weak. Like we'd have to needle blind to use the needle effectively because we want to go turn one needle, turn two port, turn three matron. We know they're playing wasteland. Get a lot of draw steps though. All right, this is better. Kind of nice that we have our one lackey in our opener. It is Delver okay? Ooh, second vials clutch. Right. Okay. Arcanesis would be. Same blowout, ringleader's pretty bad draw. Flip. All right. All right. Um, all right. They're gonna get GTA counters, but that's actually fine. When they put it, when they activate Stoneforge, I'm gonna jump on the Delver. The last, I, the last card cannot be a spell because it would have flipped the Delver. All right, land is nice. Legion Loyalist, it's just, it's just too bad with uh, um, play engineer in the format, block and jump on my own lackey. I could do that. Not sure what that accomplishes. I'm gonna do this now to see if they have me Tame Priest. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so this is the problem with shaving a gem palm. I don't have a black source. Uh, this is basically a force play, so I'm just going to do it right now to play around a drawn priest or. Um, and Dillion Click. I guess this cost me one life. Because I could block and then do it. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, is the reed still that they don't have a spell in their hand? Do I think I'm free to play this ringleader? I think I'm free to play this ringleader. Don't daze me, bro. I fuck up. I guess they could have had the train. Yeah, they could have a daze. All right. Oxus War Chief. Okay. All right. I like it. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Flower bolt. I'd be a little bit wary of another equipment. Like natural batter skull would fucking blow. Um... So let's attack, and if they do have natural battle skull, then at least I can just major for trash master. Okay. Could mux this here. I gotta play Pashlik. Got it protected with Caracas. Getting ring leaders like a little, a little greedy. That was good. Oof. I'm gonna play around force. Wait for the vial to do it. Next turn we can start activating Pash Lake. Okay. Um Yeah, okay. Um, doing this now so they can't put you know, Stoneforge in the thing that they get with this Stoneforge. I was definitely punished for not getting Trash Master or Sling Gang. Maybe Sling Gang just would kill them. They got Batter Skull. It's kind of weird. I guess they can Hardcast next turn. They're plenty on equipping. All right. 
Still gonna try not to play into Force of Will, so I'm just gonna take the file. That's not bad. Yeah, I was I in my head I thought about Termit, but they, they don't have Termit in their deck. <laughs> um Pashlik doing God's work. Tapping white, white because of Council's Judgment. Okay. And Priest, we can kill with the Pashlik Skirk combo. Second port's actually really good. Well, it appears you're dead. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, ah. Man, this just shows how far Goblins has come. Blue Eye Red Delver used to feel impossible. Because it's like eight one mana removal spells. Stoneforge you were scared of. Delver you were scared of. True name you were terrified of. Like it was like all the scary parts of Stoneblade. Plus Wasteland. Plus days four. Like plus days plus Delver pressure. Like plus extra removal. Yeah, TN yeah, TNN was a glorified gain three mana gain four maybe four or five probably five and it attacked once yes and it was played on an empty board I was like hey Lewis nice to see you are ringleader even whiffed like Stone Cold Whiffed. Moxus didn't, though. Um, yeah, just instant speed drain for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I mean, we can even activate Patch like first. You can even start doing really stupid shit, like, like Matron for Mogwar Marshall, Caracas, my Moxus. All right. Good four one we recovery. So we had to, we kind of a, a rough start with two two threes. We lost some favorite matchups. We ran into a lot of tough matchups. Um But the last league we lost to Rean like Reanimator. Put against Reanimator three or four times, which I think is like way above average. Um I don't think anyone's playing Reanimator. Well, anyone's like playing Reanimator with the intents of being like, yes, this deck is the deck. I guess I can, people can say the same thing about me, so I can't talk too much. Um, list overall felt good. I am waffling back and forth. Like, I tried the three ley lines over Mindbreak Trap, and then I played, and I was like, oh, I wish I had a Mindbreak Trap. And then I cut the ley line for a Mindbreak, and then I was like, oh, I wish I had a ley line. Like, against that, against Ant. If that mind break was a ley line, we actually were more likely to win, which is weird to think about. 
But I also like that. Oh yeah, no, no, we lost to Ants that that last that league. They raced us just barely on turn on game one, and then game two they had Terminal Thoughtsies turn two kill you through Wasteland after spending pedal on Ponder Shuffle. I'm not salty. It's fine. <laughs> Um, let's open chests because I'm a degenerate. Deceiver of form. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's fine. Got force negation right here. Wait, is this worth anything? Theros beyond death is Theros set, right? Hold on. 44? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's dropped a lot, but... Fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. That's the best 4-1 ever. So we got... Clothis, Uro, Croxa, and Ox. Top. Wow, it used to be a... 140, 156, but yeah, it's a good fucking chest. This is the shit that keeps me opening chests more than I should. <laughs> yep, no more complaining. Complaining over. I like that I, I keep opening Soul Shadow worth anything? No way, right? As if I haven't come out sufficiently ahead. 45 play points, that's not bad. Deflecting Palm, sweet meme card. Steen Angel. I actually, when I was a kid, I opened this in a Darksteel pack, and I was just like, this card's insane, you can't kill it! 59 according to Goldfish, okay. I guess the sell price is different than the buy price. Yeah, I loved Pristine Angel as a kid. That was, that was absolutely one of my favorite cards. All right. So two three two three four one. Off stream, my prior leagues with this list plus or minus one card, one or two cards is uh, three two four one four one four one. I think a lot of four ones. So overall, I think the deck is pretty well positioned. I think you've got a strong Delver matchup. Um, I'm happy to play against Blue Red Delver all day, any day. I think Rug Delver is also a good matchup. Um, Rixus Delver is tough. And Bug Delver, I don't understand. I don't, like, I think Bug Delver could be a fine matchup, but I don't know how to play it because I play against it so rarely. And there's such variety within the builds. Um, and we got Blue, Red, Blue White Red Delver, demolished them. Um, so a lot of people, like, are kind of flustered by, like, how to beat Delver in Magic. Hey, Mario. Yeah, Bug Delver is Smog. Like, I don't really know how to treat the, the deck. Like, I used to not board in Pyrokinesis, but now I feel like I have to. But it's like, I don't know what's even going on. Yeah, I'm right. I was just closing up. Uh, we're about f almost six hours into the stream. It's a long-ass stream and fucking massive raids. Th thanks for the Twitter. What? Oh, no. What did I do? <laughs> oh, on the Doom Sale? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, did something happen to my Twitter? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been playing Doom as well. Yeah, it's like, it's like less than $20. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This is a good time. You know, we had some ups and downs. Uh, nice to see you, Schultz. Tim, happy to, happy to have you stop in. Um... We'll get this vote on YouTube as long as DMCA doesn't strike it down. Uh, if you're interested in supporting me, su uh, subscribe to the channel. But even more directly, I get a lot more of it if you uh, subscribe to my Patreon. Plus, you get extra content. So the $5 Twitch sub, $5 Patreon, you get way more bang for your buck. And so do I, right? Um, so, like, obviously, happy for your Twitch primes and all that. But if you want to support me... The Patreon's the way to do it. So you can explanation from my Patreon or check the description to uh, get that. 
And if you're interested in, and also you get access to like my streaming Discord where you, know, you discuss the deck with me, you talk about lines if you want to. Um, I'll occasionally post deck lists that I think are particularly good uh, in there. Kind of keep track of that. Uh, any other questions from me before I log off? I'll see. I'll start to see who we can raid here. I suspect everyone's hanging out with me because no one's streaming Legacy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, oh, let me know if uh, you know you enjoy the music. Playing some soundtracks that I really enjoy. Obviously, I'll work on the the audio balance as I go. It's the first time doing it in a really long time. All right, I'm not seeing anyone doing legacies. I want to have a friend they want me to host. Power Dragons playing standard. Sam Black's drafting. It's all like arena. Arena. The Skinner box. As if I didn't just open treasure chests. <laughs> Alright, so someone someone give me someone to read it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, like anyone. Go MTG coverage watch party. That kind of sounds like fun. Mason Clark. My name sounds familiar. All right, I think I'm gonna send you guys there. Yeah, literally, literally, no one's playing Legacy. Um. All right, we're gonna do that. Goat MTG coverage watch party. That sounds. This sounds like fun. I'm gonna go. I'm probably gonna play Doom. Eat something. And play Doom. Um. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your evening. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for the huge raids, by the way, from a whole bunch of people. Ever us. Um, who else? MTG Paper Legacy. Uh, someone else that I can't pull up right now. Oh, uh, Aaron. All right. Catch you all later. Have a good night. See you next time.